joining us now is one of the greatest performers ever and one of the greatest human beings ever that I know, the great Tony <laughs> Orlando. Tony, first of all, uh, so great to have you here. Talk to us what it was like to have that final performance. You had the who's who there. Uh, you had Jay Siegel, you had Lee Greenwood, you had Priscilla Presley. What I learned is I don't think there's anybody in the world who doesn't love Tony Orlando. Thank you, Rita. And you know, I saw you out in the audience and uh, I remember the, the light kind of hitting you and you were sitting all by yourself. And I want to thank you for having me on here with you on Newsmax. By the way, I love your show. I love this station. I think they're great. And seeing you out there on my final performance, all the years with friends meant everything to me. And you're right, Adam Sandler and Lionel Richie mm -hmm. and Larry the Cable Guy, they all sent their love. And I couldn't have asked for, a I couldn't have prayed for a better ending to a 64-year run, as they say. Well, it is an incredible run. And also, you had Dawn. Uh, and the video of you performing with Dawn, uh, both of them, they look fabulous. And the three of you guys didn't miss a beat. It was what was like two hours at 300,000 views already uh, on YouTube. Everybody loves Tony Orlando and Dawn. What was that like for you to be reunited with them on stage? It was beautiful. They surprised me. I didn't expect it. They came in and they would just, and what was so crazy, Rita, is that we did five of our hits in a row with no rehearsal. And it was like we never stopped. Now, remember, we hadn't been together for a long, many, many, many years. And so to do a full show. So they came out, and, and but they're just such pros. You know, Talma Hopkins and Joyce Vincent, they made the final performance everything I would have ever dreamed of being. Well, uh, it was a dream come true because every song was like hit after hit after hit. And I also think about Tony. Um, tomorrow marks six months of Hamas's brutal attack on Israel. Your incredible huge hit, uh, Tie a Yellow Ribbon, has become a theme song of hope to bring hostages home. There are yellow ribbons right now everywhere in Israel. They're on the planes. Uh, you see the dignitaries. You see the citizens wearing it. It was just like America during the Vietnam War to bring the POWs home. Um, what does that mean to you, um, to know that you are such a part, not just of entertainment, but of history, and bring that hope to millions around the globe? It's humbling, Rita, totally humbling, because I've watched this happen since the POWs came home from Vietnam, our, our, our war in Iraq, there's a storm. I've seen it time and time again, right now in, in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. It's yellow ribbons everywhere, everywhere, praying for our American hostages, Israeli hostages to come home, and it's totally humbling. The lyricist, Erwin Levine, and Larry Brown, the music writer, must be sitting there scratching their heads, thinking that over 50 years, that symbol has become a symbol of home, love, and, and, and support to not only those who are held captive, as Iranian hostages held ours captive back in the 70s, but now in Israel. It's unbelievable. Well, you are unbelievable, my friend. I know you are not quitting because you're still doing veteran shows, tribute to valor and so many more things. You got to come back on again soon. My friend, one of the greatest people, I adore you. Bravo to an extraordinary career and so much more to come, I know from you. I love you, Rita. Thank you for having me on your show. Love you very much. Love you dearly. And the world loves you, Tony Orlando. Thank you so much.